this week is Drinking Water Week in BC. It's sponsored by BC WWA, and uh, we were offering tours of the wastewater treatment plant, uh, the West Bank Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant. And um, we, uh, the wastewater treatment plant is is not typically thought of as a as a water source, but uh, because of the Okanagan Valley and, and the, the effluent of the wastewater treatment plant flows out into Okanagan Lake. Uh, Okanagan Lake is, is a drinking water source for many residents throughout the area. So a lot of people have the misconception that uh, the, uh, one of these wastewater treatment plants is typically a chemical addition type of a plant where you douse it with a bunch of chemical and then put it out on Okanagan Lake. Well, that's exactly the opposite of what we do. We use the natural bacteria and the natural nutrients and the natural organisms that are contained within the wastewater and we, we grow and thrive and provide a proper environment for those uh, and nutrients to uh, basically use up the nutrients that's within the wastewater system. Typically um, it takes about eight hours for uh, flow to, to enter the plant, make its way through the process and then exit out the back of the plant. West Cologne has actually been recognized or the wastewater treatment plant has actually been recognized and published uh, worldwide as the West Bank process as we've um, modified the system in a couple of different areas uh, to produce a, a high quality effluent and uh, it's been adopted throughout the industry and uh, there's many various treatment plants throughout the world that are mirrored after the uh, West Bank treatment plant. So there's three stages of the wastewater treatment plant. There's primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary, we wear all the solids and screenings, the sands, grits, nothing larger than six centimeters in diameter makes it past that area. And those screenings that we have and the solids are all accumulated and uh, run through a centrifuge. The centrifuge spins out the water, creating a thick condensed sludge. That sludge is then pumped up into large uh, end dump trailers and those trailers are then taken off site to a, uh, a facility where they're uh, land applied to gravel pits for gravel pit reclamation. We have a private contractor that does that for us. So after primary treatment, uh, it goes into secondary where the BNR system is utilized. Um, we provide various areas for or create these environments for these, these naturally occurring bacteria or organisms to grow and as long as you provide the proper environment for these organisms, they, fr they thrive grow, reproduce, and use up the incoming nutrient that's in the wastewater. After the secondary treatment, it then flows into tertiary treatment, which is filtration and UV disinfection. In that area, it goes through a uh, fabric filter, which is 10 micron. Uh, nothing larger than 10 micron makes it through there. Then through ultraviolet light disinfection, uh, where anything left that's in the water, uh, pathogenic organisms are uh, removed, or um, basically the, the UV light um, mutates the DNA of the uh, of the organism and the effluent uh, flows out into Okanagan Lake. With the wastewater treatment plant being a brain in our system, it utilizes the natural occurring bacteria in the wastewater. We don't add a bunch of chemicals, we don't um, douse it with chlorine, we don't do any of those things that typically happens in uh, larger, more industrial type of plants. Um, the water is, uh, the wastewater comes into the plant, uh, goes through the process, uh, minimal chem chemical is added, if any, and then it's uh, clean, clear, ready for Okanagan Lake, and it's the same quality as any creek or stream that's entering Okanagan Lake.